of both models to be made and sold over a three-year period, leading to a gross profit of 30.68%. The model is very modest because the total sales of 4,000 units will be done at the, at the within the state in our Nigeria. And we, considering the population, we are sure to sell more and our product advantage. Our product articulate three out of the four hot price inverted pyramid of food impact. Number one, well-being. And by this, it free up incomes for families, high profit for health will be safer, youth employment. Number two, accessibility. No need to go search for firewood, easy and efficient cooking, affordable cooking, and travels and campers. Three, sustainability. There will be a shift from fossil fuel, firewood, and there will be a limiting deforestation process, job employment opportunity, making cooking a less stressful experience. In the context of the whole price inverted pyramid of food impact, our project addresses well-being, accessibility, sustainability. What else can be more innovative in the consumption stage of the 21st century food supply chain? Uh, and this is so is it. it transforms lives and livelihoods contributing significantly to the system change in food supply system and healing the relationship between food system and the planet. Thank, Thank you. you. We have a 15 second fabrication video showing you our team's effort and the progress. I think you have the and then it is easily accessible to those in the rural to the urban, easily accessible to those in the urban area. Statistics have shown that 64% of the population living in rural areas actually don't have access to basic amenities ranging from good healthcare systems, good educational systems, and portable drinking water. And this is all due to poverty as like they, they are living in extreme poverty. And also statistics have shown that poverty is caused by um, lack of funds, like poverty is caused by low income and also caused by unemployment. So Think Hana shows, Think Hana is here to show that the difference between those in the rural areas and those in the urban areas is opportunity. And we, as an organization, is here to bring those opportunities to those in the rural area. How do we plan on doing that? Our solutions involve the establishment and reestablishment of existing farms for small-scale farmers, unemployed youth, and also for the women, generally, since all prices mostly talking about women and youth development. Our solution entails like provision of target markets and introducing the introducing the farmers to the markets, right market, um, helping them to manage their resources effectively and also manage their income effectively. Also helping them to manage the byproducts of the production process effectively. That includes the snail slime and the snail shell. Also helping them to like provide trust funds that that are going to help them in future, that's during their retirement, retirement plan. 75% of the income generated or the revenue generated is going to the farmers. 75% of the profit generated goes to the farmers. And 15% of that 75% is kept in the trust fund for them for um, future schemes and um, their pension schemes. Also, 10% goes to the community and that 10% is used for our community and societal impact programs where we use it to impact in the community and the remaining 50% goes to the HANA It provide eradicate poverty by providing income for low-income earners and it reduces hunger by providing employment, improves good health and well-being by, uh, by providing decent work and economic growth through our, so our community and societal impact, pro, um, impact programs. Also, it improves industrial growth, innovation, and infrastructure by the provision of financial services to small-scale farmers. It reduces inequalities in the sense that it, it, creates, balance, it creates a balance between the, those in the urban areas and those in the ecosystem. As the saying goes, and the saying goes, charity begins in the community of Lodge at 7 million naira. And in the first year, we have a profit of 1.5 million naira at 70.65 profit margin because we aim at selling 100,000 students units. And in the second year, that's when we break even. We have um, a, profit, uh, a profit of 18 million naira at a profit margin of 42%. Then our uh, cost margin, of course, our cost margin, uh, we can see that the year two and year three, and at the end, we break the same pressures, shock authority, and book of an example. They are all microbiologists with major interest in food waste. 
it actually harbors microorganisms that are very harmful to the earth, thereby leading to the production of gases that is not healthy for the human. The problem is food wastage. From research, we noticed that 30% of food being produced in the world is actually being wasted. And that actually amounts to 1.3 billion tons of food being wasted daily on a global scale. Leaving 821 billion people going to bed hungry without, without any, any idea of the food they'll eat the next month. Now let's narrow it down to Nigeria. In Nigeria, where we have people living below one dollar a day, we waste 30 to 40 percent of food being produced in Nigeria. And that actually amounts to 720 billion naira being wasted on a global scale in Nigeria, where we have people living below one dollar. The solution to this problem is organic farm. What is organic farm? Organic farm is an insect-based farm which actually looks at using black fly or the normal house fly we grow to act on the composing, the composing waste to produce maggots, organic soil, and also in the process, produce biogas, which could be used to power our, which could be used in transport sectors and electricity distribution sectors. Our value proportions. Our value proportions are Reforming food waste for food, creating a healthy environment for living for you and I. Biogas production, producing biogas which could be used by transport companies, electricity distribution companies, reduce feed costs, improve crop production, reinstate relationship between the food system and the planet, job creation. Organic farm is actually looking at creating job without any bias. Anyone could actually gather waste. So we are looking at equality in terms of job creation. Food crop produce which most 30 to 40% of them becomes food waste. Organic farm gathers this waste and in the process produces maggots, organic soil as a debris, and also biogas, which could be used by electricity distribution companies and transport companies. And these maggots could be used by poultry farmers to feed their beds, and livestock farmers, especially the poultry farmers, the biogas as a source of power. And these livestock farmers still produce waste which could also be acted upon, which could also be used by organic farm to produce, it's like a cycle. It's very sustainable. We are looking at working with farmers, aquaculturists. We are also looking at working with the Ministry of Agriculture, non governmental organization, the transportation sector, household, and also electricity distribution companies. What are we, how do we intend to create income to sustain this idea? We're actually looking at sales of maggots. That's we sell maggots to farmers to feed their birds. We also sell maggots incorporated feeds. As I, if you agree with me, we have broilers in layers. Most farmers, they don't intend feeding more protein to their broiler layers because it won't help the birds to produce fat. So we inculcate maggots meal into other uh, grains like corn and the rest. Then we sell organic salt to the crop farmers and the non-governmental organization, the Ministry of Agriculture, that's where they come in. Because most times they give this fertilizer to farmers to improve their crops and it's healthy to the environment. Not using fertilizer that will cause hazards to our uh, water system and also the environment. We look at sales of biogas. It, like from research, they say 1,000 tons of waste. That this waste gathers. 1,000 tons will provide about 300, 330 units of biogas from those waste. And you produce zero point three point six tons of maggot meal. We also produce 6.3 tons of organic waste from this just 1,000 tons, where we gather more than just 5,000 tons in a week. That is money. We also look at organizing seminars and workshops. Looking at a bossy billionaire job like this, nobody will not want to inculcate because we spend less and provide more. Spending 7,500 million billion US dollars just in Nigeria for food wastage. You want to invest so as to get this. So we train workers and we get paid for training them. Our channels of solving this problem include social media contact, Facebook, WhatsApp, and a host of others. Bookings and reservations, customer referral, town criers, which will carry information to interior villages where information cannot get through, mass media, radio jingles, billboards, newspaper, and television advertisements. Right there. Gathered waste for a few days now. The Tatars start producing um, maggots currently. Next time. Now, in line